West Midland Safari Park is home to genetically mutated tigers, one of the most dangerous animals to humans, and the greatest hunter in Africa. Located near Birmingham, it's made up of a drive-through safari, some walk-around enclosures, and a smaller theme park. This was on my list of places to visit, as it has several animals which I hadn't seen before, and it also has a drive-through safari, which is something I haven't done since I was last there, probably about 15 years ago. We were doing the safari in a coach, which initially caused concern. Will we be able to see the animals or not? You know, if they were on the wrong side of the coach, or people are in the way or something. But that all turned out to be completely fine, and we got a good view of all the animals, and it possibly even helped being a bit higher up as well. The first part of the safari was the African Reserve area, and it had elons, which is the largest type of antelope. It had quite a few plain zebras, some buffaloes and some red lettre, which we got a really good view of. And finally, it had lots of white rhinos, which were one of the main animals we went there to see. This was the first time I'd seen white rhinos, and they are quite different in appearance to other rhinos. They have a much wider mouth and a different shaped head, which is used for feeding on grass rather than in trees and bushes. Their name white doesn't actually come from their appearance, but is thought to have come from a translation error from the word wide to describe the shape of their mouth. They also have an Indian rhino, or greater one-horned rhino, a bit further along the path, which is the largest of all the rhino species and looks like it's wearing a suit of plated armor. Continuing along the windy path brings you towards the carnivore section. After passing a few goats, we came towards the African wild dog area. Also known as painted dogs, these are the most successful hunters in the whole of Africa, with a roughly 85% hunting success rate, which compared to a lion's roughly 30% success rate is really high. After those, we then went into the African lion area. There were two male lions in the middle at first, which we didn't have a great view of, but they did walk over to the corner where we got a good view of them on our side and the whole group of females as well. The next area was the kingdom of the white lions, which same as the white tigers was another animal which I'd never seen before and was one of the main reasons we wanted to go to West Midlands. We had a decent view of these, but they were quite far away. But shortly after, we did have a good view of the white Bengal tigers. These aren't actually a different species of lion or tiger. Their white coat is just a result of a genetic mutation called leucism. Unfortunately, in order to breed more white lions and tigers for profit, there's been a lot of inbreeding in zoos, which causes significant health problems for the animals. Luckily, there's organisations like WWF that are working to try and prevent this in the future. After the white lions, we went towards the area that has the Indian rhino. We went past a few more deer, a few more buffalo and some dolls. Then we went past the white tigers, which we had a much better view of than the white lions. And they also had a Sumatran tiger there, but more on them later in the video. Continuing along the path in the Asian reserve area, we went past some Bactrian camels and then the Grevy zebra, which is the second species of zebra they have there. And if you compare the two, you'll see that they have much thinner stripes than the plains one. We then passed some more deer and made our way towards the final few animals. First was the African elephant, which is the largest species of elephant. They have two there, one of which looked a bit stuck on the fence. After them was the Rothschild giraffes. They have absolutely loads there, from fully grown adults to newborn babies, which is great to see, but does cause a lot of traffic chaos as they weave in and out of the cars. You can also get a good view of the giraffes and elephants on foot, which I will get to later in the video. That was the end of the safari, which I thought all around was really good. We managed to see all of the animals and we didn't get stuck in that much traffic, so that was all really good. The next place we went was the main park area, which has a few more on foot enclosures and the small theme park area. Straight away as you walk in you'll see the penguin coast which is home to the Humboldt penguins. This along with the main entrance walkway and quite a lot of the other buildings around were really well themed which is always good and makes the park a lot more immersive to walk around. We then went on to see what I think might be the best part of the main park, the sea lion show. This isn't actually bad for the sea lions, as everything they do actually serves as a medical check, which they'd be doing regardless as to whether people watch or not. They check their teeth, their coordination, uh, their physical fitness, their whiskers, the list goes on. And they also feed them some of their 10 kilogram of fish a day diet. The show was really good. The speaker was excellent. He said lots about the individual lions and sea lions in general. And it's definitely something I'd recommend if you're there. Next place we went was the reptile house. Here there was quite a few different lizards and a lot of snakes, which seemed to be the main focus. Again, really good theming here. And there was another animal which I'd never seen before. 
the reticulated python. This is currently the longest species of snake and consistently reaches over 6.25 meters in length. There are a few more things to see in this starter area, like the lorikeet walkthrough, the bat walkthrough, and the mini aquarium, but we were on a bit of a time constraint, so we had to focus on the main things that we wanted to see. We made our way past the red pandas towards the theme park area. It's quite a family ride area, so nothing massive, but we did go on a few rides which were quite good, so definitely worth a look if you're there. Right next to the theme park area was another one of the main animals we wanted to see, the hippos. This is the largest pod of hippos in the UK, and they were another animal which I hadn't seen before, so I was hoping to see them up and moving around a lot, which wasn't the case when we first got there. Luckily, there was a talk on later where they did throw some food into the lake, so we did get to see one up and moving around. Surprisingly, hippos can't actually swim, and to move around in water, they just run and push themselves off the ground. They are also one of the most dangerous animals to humans due to their nature, and they are responsible for around 500 deaths a year in Africa. If you continue around past the Hippo Lake, you come towards the Tiger Tropics, which is an area that contains another two Sumatran tigers. These are the smallest species of tiger and are found on the island of Sumatra in Indonesia. They have a large open enclosure and we did manage to get quite a good view of both of them. At the top of the park, they have another well-themed area called the African Village, which we had a quick look at. There's a large group of meerkats, a lima walkthrough and a goat walkthrough there. The goat walkthrough was closed for refurbishment, but that didn't really matter. And we did get a really good view of the meerkats and the lemurs. The final animals we went to see were the elephants and giraffes again on the African walking trail. After walking up a steep hill, you come to the point where you can view them on foot, along with all the animals in the first part of the safari. We were running low on time now, so we had a quick look around the dinosaur and the Ice Age areas before leaving. These were a lot better than I've seen before. They had really good theming, the models were all really good, and some of them even moved. Definitely worth a quick look around. And that brings us to the end of the day. We saw all of the animals we wanted to see there. We tried a few of the rides. I questioned whether I'd ever take kids anywhere and ticked off another zoo in the UK. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.